Oh, I mean, Jesus, look at that. That is just... Oh. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at a fantastic scene from June, and we're going to extrapolate, we're going to reveal the techniques that Denis Villeneuve has used by storyboarding. So, here we go. We're going to play the film. So we start off on this really dark wide shot. We've got here in the center of the screen, a doorway. The mother comes in from the right hand side of the door. She's tiny in frame. You see that? Absolutely tiny in frame. Our next frame, we're now in a medium shot showing the mother who's stood in front of us. She's now static and Paul coming up from behind. And he stands, actually very interestingly, he stands just over his mother's shoulder. So we've got the mother, she's roughly here. He basically walks towards the back of his mother because in a way, He's looking for protection. He's still not, he's hiding behind her somewhere. If we look at the very last frame of this shot, he's now over her shoulder, looking in the same direction as her, finding some, some uh, safety behind his mother. Oh, I mean, Jesus, look at that shot. That is just, oh. got a person in a room. They are, they are surrounded by books. This immediately tells us that this person is comfortable around knowledge, is probably very knowledgeable as well because that's a visual motif being used here. And there is a chair in the center of the room. It's not got a chair opposite it. She's not waiting for someone to sit down in front of her. She's going to be in control even though she is seated. So let's draw this out. Let's see. Let's see if we can work out some uh, some other inf interesting information. So we've got our chair here. Apparently, Denis Villeneuve um, wanted the woman to feel almost like uh, a queen chess piece sat in this chair. She's incredibly regal as well. She had this tall hat on, waiting for him to arrive. So the beginning of this shot, we see just here. We see our Bene Gesserit here. We see this lady, she's actually not even looking up. She's looking straight forward. So she's expecting him to land into her eye line. That is actually a super, a really powerful choice as well, because she's so in control. She doesn't even have to have to, have to raise her head. This shot, although it looks similar, is not the same as this two shot here. It's actually slightly tighter. So we're gonna create a new frame for that. This one is far more equal, however. If you notice, Paul's eye line is now bang on the same height as the Bene Gesserit's eye line. And they still made sure that there is enough space for our Bene Gesserit's uh, headpiece to be in frame. So let's just make sure that we get this about right. It's really important to analyze every scene that inspires you. That's why I chose this scene myself. I feel like this scene was so strong. And if you think about it, production value wise, there's not a whole lot going on in this scene. There's no big explosions. There's no big um, arguments. No one's shouting at one another. You know, it's, it's a subtle expression of conflict, of power struggle. And that is in itself so important because it helps you understand how to build your scenes, how to build innate conflict and struggle between characters. Your mother stands behind that door. No one will get past her. Now we get a new shot. So we've got the power play and now we're reminded that the mother is still relevant to this scene. The mother is stood outside. She's center frame and she's looking down um, and almost like a, uh, a nun in prayer. Oh God, that was a, a glimpse of fire there for a second. Again, new shot. Fire. Love it. So we've got the, the shot of Paul, fl flash of fire and back to Paul again. 
Now that lets us know by going from Paul to fire back to Paul again, and he looks slightly concerned. We realized that that was his vision, no one else's. If we had cut, say, to the mother instead, we would have been confused. Who saw that fire? Or was that fire just some interpretation of this moment of pain? Right, so I think we have gotten all the way to the end, the climax of this scene. We've seen how this scene has been put together through these shots, how we consistently can see how often a new frame is added in to keep the visual variety in there, the use of cutaways to really enhance the intensity of the scene, literally using fire to represent not only what Paul was seeing, but represent the pain that his mother and he was feeling, the way in which he framed shots to show the correlation between the mother and son's journey and the power dynamic and how it subtly shifts over the scene. This is a textbook example of how to use framing, camera movement and imagery to really tell your story. And if we didn't break this down with storyboards, I honestly don't believe we would have gotten half as much of the information on how Denis Villeneuve transformed this scene from the book into the film so successfully.